Welcome to the weather forecast for another week beginning. No, it's not another week. Beginning Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Sometimes it just doesn't go the way you think in your head. Tuesday, April 23rd, we are two weeks out from the solar eclipse. We're at a 100% beautiful moon. Uh, full moon rising at 7.51 p.m. So beautiful light for hiking all night long. The sun's got a single spot or two. Uh, one facing us, not too big of a threat. Looking at drought conditions, we have a little lessening of drought down in the southern mountains. The entire state is doing pretty well. We're drought free for at least two thirds of the area, abnormally dry for most of the rest. Nationally, I see a little bit of relief. Let's go back and look at the northern Rockies, a little bit of relief. Southern Rockies, not much change and the Great Plains a little bit of lessening. So wintery springtime still, not until the heat really pulls down do you start to see things change. Lots of smoke in the uh, south, but nothing in Colorado. Looking at our quasi animation of the snowpack depth, swooping along below and then crossing to above normal. And in the latest, that's it. Nope, there's one more. Uh, we've drop down with the heat. I mean, we, we hit 80s down here, so our temperatures went above freezing and a lot of the snowpack got cut back. So we're back down to normal, that's our median, so that's okay. We're not going to complain. This is a precipitation map for the last week and uh, entire tools broken. The whole website is grayed out. So I don't know what is going on there, so sorry about that. Looking at the severe weather chances, this is the third week of April, and look at that. We have a 1% chance um, of severe weather now sneaking quite close to the I-25 corridor. So, hey, spring, it's on. Uh, we'll keep an eye open for stronger storms as the temperatures climb. And looking at that, we have marginal risk of severe weather just about touching the state. Chance of storms up there today or Wednesday. And Thursday it pulls away, and Friday pretty much out of the state. Looking at a cold front coming down on Wednesday, sweeps down to Texas, some severe weather ahead of it on Thursday. And then we had light, uh, light snow Thursday morning and still a little bit uh, possible Friday evening. So pretty good chances of, of Thursday and Friday precipitation, a little better Friday and Saturday morning. Temperatures definitely drop down close to freezing. And then we bounce right back up to warm to above normal. 62 to 65 for the high, 34 up to 37 now for our expected low temperature. Yep, we're, we're definitely leaving winter behind. Doesn't mean we can't get a big snowstorm or have a cold spell, but it can't last long. Lots of moisture streaming into the uh, state from the west, dry air to the south, subtropical stuff across the southern states. Next notable uh, precipitation is Thursday p.m. A little trough right there, ridge on either side, and just a little showers around. And the, I think that's, oh, this, this, that's a typo. So this is Friday night, Saturday morning, ignore that. And we have this other trough coming through and a pretty good chance of showers, maybe s morning snow on Saturday. Okay, let's put this in motion, take a look at this all happening. We have zonal flow at the beginning here with a trough deep to the south, a ridge building in the west, giving us warmth by the end of the weekend into the next week. So another little trough sliding by to our northeast, and a big ridge pops in in the middle of the week next week. Something coming in the southern uh, branch here, but yeah, we'll see what happens. End of next week, there's a possible another system coming in. Something giant barreling down the west coast, but that is at the end of the month and quite uncertain. That could be our first severe weather right there. Here's our Wednesday front into Thursday, spreading down into Texas. And then for the first part of the weekend, this kind of, that's pretty chilly, yeah. Pretty far below normal. Normal's a lot warmer than it's been. Then we warm up right away Sunday night into Monday morning. You'll feel that warm front come rocking in. Another cold front Tuesday, Wednesday. <coughs> and then we're a quick warm up right after that. Uh, looking at atmospheric moisture, 
it's a pretty good amount. It remains over the state. So if we get some ripple in the atmosphere, we can get that kick off showers and storms. It never really clears out. It was a Tuesday system. This has pretty good moisture there. Let's take a look at what happens near the end of the week. So we see signs of some thunderstorms or so. And then at the end of the month, it's a low there, wrapping up. So it's kind of an active pattern. Not super wet, maybe, but definitely lots of systems moving around. Uh, this is a surface moisture dew points, and this is really interesting that this little tongue of moisture remains and just keeps flowing back and holding on on the east side of the Rocky Mountains. You can see moisture going way up into Canada even from the Gulf. This is a very strong low-level jet in the evening transporting deep moisture back into Texas and up. And we are right on the edge of it. Sometimes you dry out briefly and then the moisture pushes back in. So again, get a storm above and there's moisture for it to act upon. Um, nice. Okay, looking at this is the Wednesday into Thursday morning. It's a very small bit of an upslope Friday, Saturday. It's a little more significant. And then it clears out for the rest of the weekend. The low forms there. Then Tuesday, a little upslope stuff there, but it's just not much. Yeah, so all this is pretty disorganized. That looks great out on the plains, but not for Colorado there. Okay, taking a look at Sunday next week, and we did see all that upper level energy coming out of the uh, southwest, but it doesn't seem to do much. So for the next five days, maybe half inch of precipitation. We got very little um, Thursday, uh, uh, Wednesday into Thursday morning. I am recording on Thursday. But a uh, little more significant water might come in Friday night into Saturday morning. It should rain and then change over to snow. You might see uh, snow coating cars and roofs and grass like this, but maybe another inch or so on I-25. Then of the next 10 days, maybe another half inch or quarter inch gets added to the total, but not much more snow. So it's probably going to be warmer. So drop out of the 70s on Wednesday to the 40s on Thursday, climb to the 50s into the weekend, and then back to the 70s for the start of the week with pretty good chances of Friday night, Saturday morning rain, then snow. This has been uh, Check Out the Longmont Leader for uh, frequent weather updates as needed and great local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.